What's up everybody? Welcome back to Max Grill Shack. My name is Shane and today I'm excited to say we are firing up the Gosney Dome yet again and uh, today we are doing some deep dish Detroit style pizza so stick around. <laughs> And for our deep dish pizza today, I'm going with Urban Slicer's Epic Deep Dish Pizza Dough Mix. Um, I've used this in the past. They've got a few kinds. They've got uh, the deep dish, they got a Neapolitan, and they have a grilling dough, all really easy to use. Uh, add a cup of water, mix a couple of pizzas, and, uh, and I'm all about easy. So uh, we're gonna grab this, get it in our stand mixer here. Add in one cup of water per the instructions and let it go for about eight to ten minutes. All right, got our dough mix in the stand mixer, got a cup of warm water. I'm just going to add this in here. I'm going to turn this on. Let it ride for eight minutes or so. And we'll meet you back when we're ready to pull this out. Okay, so we got our dough out of the stand mixer here, fully mixed up. And the plan here is to take this uh, and divide it into two balls. I'm supposed to rest it in an oiled pan. I'm gonna go just straight into my uh, deep dish pans here. These are Lloyd pans, eight by tens. Picked them up off Amazon. Um, they're not the cheapest pans, but they do work really well. So, uh, let's get these in the pans. Uh, we do need to rest them for about two to four hours. So first I'm just going to give these a good, uh, oil. I'm just using spray canola oil. It's certainly the easiest way to do this. And there's nothing wrong with easy. I like easy. Make sure I get the sides good here. At the bottoms. I'm gonna put a little on my hands here just to make working with this dough a little bit easier. All right, there we are. And gonna just roughly divide these into two balls here. Looks pretty close to me. I'm good with that. So I'm just going to kind of fold smoothies over, tuck the bottom in, get these uh, somewhat formed up here into some nice supple balls and uh, get them resting for, uh, for a couple of hours here. So you always want to do this uh, in advance because it will take some time to, to proof and rise up. So two to four hours pretty warm out here today so I'm thinking two hours will be plenty. I'll get these uh, resting and I'm looking forward to trying these deep dish pizzas in the dome. And after letting our dough rest for a couple hours here it's ready for the next step. I'm just gonna pull this wrap off, save this here for the next go. And uh, now we're just going to press the dough out into the pan. I'm gonna hit it with a little uh, olive oil this time here. Spray the top down, be pretty liberal here. And just gonna push this dough out. I'm actually gonna give it a little flip here. And all we're doing is just kind of forming this out, shaping it to the pan. And then we're going to let it rest yet again because it's going to want to kind of pull back from the pan here. So I'm going to give it time to relax. So it's uh, it's been a couple hours so far. We're probably going to let this rest for, for nearly another hour or so. Keep an eye on it. I also have uh, fired up the dome here to get it start preheating. Just got it on low on propane right now. Uh, I'm just going easy this time. I do have my rope door on order. Should be seeing that uh, sometime in the, 
the next week or so. So looking forward to getting that. And we're definitely going to try out the, uh, the wood side of it, get a wood fire going and uh, enjoy all of that. All right, so nothing too uh, fancy here. Just got our dough all pressed out uh, into the pan. Like I said, it is gonna wanna pull back a little bit, but we got it lightly, uh, lightly oiled here. And we're just gonna put our, uh, our film back on here and let it uh, rest slash rise proof up for another hour or so. And uh, we'll meet you back when we're ready to start topping this up. Get it on the dome. Okay, so it's been uh, about another hour or so. Our dough has been relaxing in our deep dish pans here. And uh, just going to give them a real quick uh, press out. Make sure everything's formed nicely to the edges. Uh, it has a tendency to kind of pull back, but it's nicely relaxed here now. Looks like we're, we're good. And uh, next up, very simple, going in with some cheese. I just got some uh, grated mozzarella here. Uh, nothing too fancy, it's, it's a, more of a dry mozzarella. Um, you don't really want a high moisture mozzarella. And the key here is to, uh, to go heavy. Um, we're going to make sure we are edge to edge, wall to wall with uh, lots of mozza here. And I'm gonna load this up. And you want it touching the edges, of course, so you get that nice uh, cheese skirt around the edge. So I am not going to hold back here, kind of deliberately pushing it against the sides. And looks like that's nicely coated there. As you can see, I'm going to dress up the second one here as well. And uh, not going too fancy on the toppings here today. Just a uh, simple pepperoni deep dish. That's all I need. All right, there we go. Got the matzo wall to wall. Next, grab some pepperoni here. And uh, I'm not gonna be uh, shy with the pepperoni here. Gonna layer it nice, nice and tight, edge to edge. Definitely want that pepperoni. All right, there we have it. Pepperonis all laid down, nice and thick, side to side. Let me hit the second one real quick. All right, two deep dishes loaded up at the pep. And, uh, Couple of ways to go about this. Urban Slicer recommends saucing after with a with a hot sauce. See it go both ways. I'm not looking for any extra steps here tonight, so I am going to layer on a few stripes of sauce here. This first one. I'm just gonna go with a couple of nice thick stripes on the the long way of the pan here. Running the length of it. There we go. This guy here, maybe I'll try a couple of little zigzags. Make it a little fancy. And uh, nothing fancy here pizza sauce wise. I had uh, open jar of sauce in the, in the cupboard, or sorry, the fridge. So uh, I'm just gonna use that up.
There we go, sauce is on. And uh, let's get one of these in the dome. Okay, first deep dish about to go in. There you have it. You can see we got uh, cheese uh, wall to wall in there, a couple of stripes of sauce, loads of pepperoni. And uh, our, our dome is reading 530 on the nose here. And uh, I'm just gonna push this in over to the right side. Basically set the low here right now. Um, I don't wanna push my luck too much on this first go. So uh, going nice and easy. Probably gonna take 10 to 15 minutes or so, but uh, I'll keep an eye on it. And uh, probably have to rotate the, uh, the pizza every, every so often here. I also have the mantle attachment on the dome here. So the nice thing there is if, if I'm battling too much heat and I still wanna cook it, I can pull that pan forward, almost extending it out uh, of the oven slightly onto the mantle and really be able to manipulate that, uh, that temperature zone that's a little bit cooler than in the oven directly. Okay, this first deep dish has been in here about five minutes. Just gonna pull this out a little bit here. Take a quick peek. Getting some nice color on the cheese there. I'm gonna give us a quick spin around. Tuck it back in. Take a peek, see how she's looking. Getting some nice color. I think we maybe have just a couple more minutes to go. Let's tuck her back in. Alright, so I just moved it a little bit closer to the flame here. Tried to get a little more of that wick over the top, browning the top a little bit more. Keep a close eye on it here. I'd rather not turn up the temperature. We're still sitting right at 530 Fahrenheit. We're just about there, so we'll keep a close eye on it. Okay, right at the 15, mar 15 minute mark here. Definitely got some uh, golden brown color going on here. I think we're just about there. I'm gonna give it just another maybe 30 seconds, minute max here, and then we'll pull this one out. Okay, I think we're there. Let's pull this out. There we go, we got some nice color on there. We'll just set this over on our cooling rack here. Let it just tone down for a minute. Straight away, we'll grab our next one. Load this in. And get it going. Okay, and while we got the second one in the dome there, I'm just going to release the edges in the pan here. I like to use a knife or something something decently thin. See if we can keep all our nice cheese skirting intact here. That's the plan anyway. Fought me a little bit, but there we go. We don't want it sitting in the pan too long because we want that nice uh, crispy uh, crust on the bottom there. So we'll pop this out and get it on a cooling rack here. Let's see if we can lift this guy out. There we go. Onto our cooling rack. And there we have it. Dress this up a little bit. Like I said, we're just gonna let this cool down for a second. 
admittedly not the thickest deep dish. I kind of stretched the limits of what the, uh, the package dough can do there for the size of my pans. They do recommend a smaller size, but uh, I'm using what I got. So let this just cool down for a second. And uh, we'll get back to keeping an eye on uh, our second deep dish. Okay, our second deep dish has been in here about five minutes now. So once again, give it a spin. Not a ton to see there, getting going though. Okay, we're right at the 10 minute mark here on the second one. Pull this back. Give it a spin. Looking pretty good to me, but a little ways to go yet. So let's pop her back. Let it go a little bit longer yet. All right, last couple of minutes here. I'm gonna turn this flame up a little bit, make her dance on top. See what comes of that. Definitely have to keep a close eye. She's dancing. Okay, right around the 15 minute mark here. I think we're doing pretty good. Let's take a quick check. Oh yeah, we got some color on there. I think we're done. Turn this back to low here. Get this out on the cooling rack once again, and uh, we'll start dressing up that first deep dish. Okay, well, our second deep dish cools down a little bit here in our uh, deep dish pan. Gonna get our, uh, our, first, our first one going here. Gonna cut this in the fours. Grab a little bit of Parmigiano Reggiano. Give it a nice little dressing on top here. There we go, and also got some fresh chives out of the garden. So why not put a little green on top? Make it look a little pretty. All right, and there we have it. Detroit style pepperoni pizza on the Gosney Dome. Gonna get myself a big uh, corner slice here. It's the beauty of cutting into fours on a pan like this. They're all corners. Let's give this a taste test, shall we? Ooh, that's good. No complaints there. Well, definitely looking forward to uh, diving in on the rest of these slices here. Uh, I do thank uh, you guys once again for sticking around while we made some deep dish pizza on the Gosney Dome. Uh, I've, I've got my rope door uh, coming in within the next week or so, so definitely looking forward to trying out the wood-fired aspect on here. Get some wood-fired pizzas. Uh, definitely going to try some more dishes on there, maybe some desserts. See what happens. Looking forward to it. And if you want to stick around for all that, uh, please hit that subscribe button. 
Uh, hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. I look forward to uh, cooking some more on the dome here. It's been uh, fantastic to work with um, for the few times I have used it now. But uh, feel free to get out there and grill up some goodness for yourselves. Cheers.